Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to show you how to make pixel art kind of like this in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm here in Adobe Illustrator. I'm just going to create a new file. We'll come up here to print and then letter and create. Now to keep my bright colors, I'm going to change it to RGB by coming up here to file document color mode and RGB color. And actually I could have done that in the last step. Next we'll import our artwork and this can be a JPEG or PNG. And you can also actually use just vector artwork, but you'll need to rasterize it first. So I'm going to come up here to file place and this is the one I want. So I'll place that. Now some things to note about the artwork that you choose. It's best to pick a simple image without outlines. And that's really only if you're looking for a low number of pixels in your art. If you don't mind having a lot of pixels, uh, having like black outlines on him are okay. And I'll show you both ways. And I got both of these images from Vecteezy, so they're not something that I own or anything like that. I'm going to go up here to object and normally I would choose create object mosaic, but unfortunately this is grayed out. And the reason for that is it needs to be embedded art right now. It's linked. So if I open up my links panel under window, I can see here that it's got a little link icon right here. I'm going to go up to these three little lines and choose embed images. And now this image is embedded. So now when I come up here to object, I'm able to select create object mosaic. When I click that, I'll get this dialog box. My current size is 342 by 381. That's about the right size that I'm looking for. So I don't need to make a new size here. I'm going to change the number of tiles to 30. And when I do that, the height does not update, but I can choose use ratio right here and it'll automatically update to match the actual width and height ratio, which is what I want because I want each of my little pixels to be a square. And by the way, when I say pixels, these aren't going to actually be the size of a pixel. It's just a style of art. Now, if you decide to have a lot of tiles, maybe you want your width to be 150 tiles. That takes a long time, even on a really nice new computer, unlike this one. So be careful of that. It can sit here and make your computer think for a long time. All right, so we got 30, 33, and then we'll say, okay. Okay, this is my result, and I'm not really liking it because I'm not getting the detail I want, so I'm gonna undo. We'll come back up here and try again. I'm going to choose 40 this time. This will give me a little more detail in the face and I'll choose use ratio, which changes the height to 45 and I'll choose. Okay. Okay. And this is much better. So now we have to kind of clean this up. I don't want these white pixels out here. I want it to have kind of a transparent background. I'm going to use my group selection tool. That one is right underneath your direct selection. I'll click one of those and then I'll choose select same fill color. And it's going to select all of the other squares that are exactly the same white color and I'll delete those. Now you'll see, I've got a box behind here. That's my original image. So I'm just going to click and drag it over. And this is really nice because you can kind of see what you're aiming for. I've got a keyboard shortcut set up for select same fill color. Um, for me, that is shift command F, but that's something you have to set up. So if you want to do that, you can go to edit keyboard shortcuts, Come over here to menu commands and go to select same and fill color and then click right here and type whatever you want it to be. Uh, I like shift command F because it doesn't take up another keyboard shortcut that I use a lot. And then we'll say, okay. And then you'll probably be prompted to save your keyboard shortcuts, which I recommend you do that. Okay. So I'm going to click this one with my uh, group selection. I'll hit shift command F, which is select same fill color and delete those. Since these are all in the line, I can also just select them all and delete. I'll hit command Y or control Y to see what I'm left with. And we're getting pretty close now. I'm going to go ahead and draw a box around him. I'll make it black and send to the back with shift command left bracket or shift control left bracket. And we can see what we're left with. I don't like all these white pieces out here. So I'm going to hit Y on my keyboard and that'll give me the magic wand tool. Now, if I click one of those, it's going to select all similar pieces and that includes this pink. So I don't want that. I'll double click my wand tool and lower my tolerance to about 10. And then 
I'm going to try again. Okay, and this is much closer to what I want. I've selected all the white pieces that don't look quite right, and I'll delete all those. Now that it's more of what I want, I'm going to go ahead and delete that black box. I'm going to change the whites of his eyes to actual white. Um, also, if you're not seeing any of these panels, they're all underneath window, so window color is right here, if you're not seeing your color panel, for example. We lost his smile almost completely, so I'm just going to copy and paste some pixels so we bring his smile back. So I'm going to click on this one. I'll get right on that corner, click and drag and hold Shift and Option to make a copy or shift and alt on a PC. And you can see my uh, cursor is changing and that's because I have snap to point on. Snap to point is under view and then snap to point and that's really useful. So if you take one corner, hold shift and option or shift and alt on a PC and drag, you'll make a copy but you'll also have it snap to that other one. And then we can hit command D or control D a couple times to transform again. That's what you're doing when you do that. It's basically making a copy and sending it the same number of pixels as you just did. It just remembers what you did last. So in this case, we made a copy and we also drag it a little ways. And so it repeats that same motion. Now, sometimes when you make your copy, it'll be behind the other piece. So bring it to the front with shift command right bracket or shift control right bracket. I'm going to select all these with my group selection. And then I'll use the eyedropper tool and select a pink color to change these to pink too, to the darker pink. Now I like his hand over here better than this one, but I like his foot over here better than this one. I'm just going to copy that arm by selecting all those pieces with my group selection tool. And then I'll hit O, which is my reflect tool. And I'll hold option and click right in the middle or alt on a PC. And then I'll get this reflect dialog box. It looks like it's just moving it over, but you can also make a copy with this button right here. So now we've got a similar arm on the right side. I'm going to copy some of these up. I'm going to delete these pieces over here and then use my reflect tool again. I'll hit O on my keyboard to get to my reflect tool right over here. Then I'll hold option or alt and get right in the middle like this and make a copy there. All right, and now I'm pretty happy with how the pixel art looks. One option is to move his smile down so it looks more like a smile. So I'll try that. And then I'll have to fill in that space. I'm holding Option or Alt and copying these and snapping to point. I'm holding Shift too so they move along the same plane. Okay, this looks better. I think we're done with this one. Now I'll open a more detailed image and we'll also make pixel art from that one. So I'll go to File, Place. Now you'll notice here at the bottom it says to link. I'm going to uncheck that and that way it will automatically embed it. That way you don't have to go to your links window and embed it. So we'll place this and I'll click and drag. Now this one's a little more detailed so we'll have to do it a little differently if we're going to maintain all of that detail. I'll come up to Object, Create Object Mosaic. This time for the number of tiles, I'm going to use 100 and we'll use ratio. This one's a perfect square, so it's 100 by 100 and we'll say OK. And this might take some time depending on your system. And this one turned out OK. So if I zoom in here, uh, we're losing a little bit of that outline here, but by and large it did pretty good. And then I would go ahead with that same process um, of cleaning up the image, maybe making some of this black. I'm also going to select all of these and delete them, move this out. And now you can see we've got a little bit of cleanup here. So that is a somewhat easy way to make pixel art in Adobe Illustrator. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.